Hey there everybody and welcome back to day five of the Honey Bee Stamps fifth anniversary release. We're starting out today with a small stamp called Good Friends. The larger stamp says good friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but you know they're always there. And the smaller one that would be perfect for just a little sentiment strip on the inside of your card says thanks for always being there for me. Here Keiko has heat embossed that first large sentiment onto a strip of vellum and it looks beautiful with her floral design. The next beautiful stamp set is a collaboration with our own design team member Emily Midget. She has beautiful hand-drawn florals here and then the polygon on top and then there's awesome sentiments. The earth laughs and flowers. A kind word is like a spring day. Live life in full bloom. Where flowers bloom, so does hope. Thank you for your kindness. A flower blooms for its own joy, and he has made everything beautiful in its time. There's a coordinating die set that fits perfectly with this stamp set. One of the dies is going to cut out all the way around that floral design. And then there's a second die that cuts out that polygon. So you're able to do some layering effects. You're able to cut that out and make a shaker card. So lots of fun things that you can do with the dies and the stamps from In Full Bloom. Artist and design team member Emily has designed this card and she's used Where Flowers Bloom, So Does Hope and inserted that into her shaker card there. It's gorgeous. I love her coloring. Here's a gorgeous no line coloring card from Jenny and she's also die cut and used the polygon for her sentiment. A kind word is like a spring day. Here's a beautiful design from Bobby. She's done the floral, she's used the die cuts and made that die cut with her sentiment look like a wooden sign. I love that one. Next up, I have a pair of cover plates to share with you. These are the layering flower cover plates and this first one cuts out around the edge. So that's an A2 size, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And it's also gonna cut all those little blossoms in the design. Now the second plate is going to cut all the way around the edge. It's going to cut the centers of the flowers, which are those little circles, but then you're also going to get a pierced design that's going to emboss into your cardstock when you run that through your die machine. So these are great on their own. They're also get great paired and layered together, and I'm going to give you a look at that. Okay, the first one I'm going to show you is the one that cuts out the centers. So you can see there all the white little centers there and then the embossed design that the piercing leaves of those little blossoms. Next is that top cover plate or the one that cuts out the blossoms. And now I'm going to layer those two together and you can see how cute that is when you layer them together. So lots of different techniques and things that you can do with this. And one quick tip, don't forget to save all those little blossoms that come out of your cover plates. Sometimes those are just as cute as using the cover plates themselves. Here's a great example from design team member Jenny. She's used all the layers, super beautiful with that little spring bee. Here Leanne has done a purple theme. She's used all the layers of the cover plate dies and paired that with our buzzword friend. And then I love how Ilda has made this super beautiful card. It's a rainbow and she's used those little fallout blossoms with some of our gems with hello friend. Next are the layering flower stencils. This is a two stencil set and I love these because these have that etched line that's included in that stencil that was etched in there when they designed and cut the stencil. And that makes it so easy for you to line up your A2 size cardstock and get the perfect layered design every time. Here's a look at that center, what would be the center of the flowers, the stencil. And this one's a little bit easier to see that etched line. That's where you're gonna line up your cardstock and it's gonna match up with the little blossoms on the first stencil perfectly. So it's super easy to line those up and get the perfect stenciling every time. 
I'm going to set these stencils up and show you exactly what they look like when you brush color over them. I'm just quickly going to brush on some bright yellow over those sweet little blossoms. As you can see there, I've got my cardstock lined up on those etched lines. Next, I'm going to put the centers of the flowers, and I'm being very careful to line up my cardstock with the etched lines. Then I'm going to flip it over and add some purple tape just to hold everything in place. And then this time, I'm going to use some black shimmer paste. This is going to be fun. It's going to look like little sunflowers or daisies or black-eyed Susans. I love this look and that shimmer paste is a little bit gritty so it really does look like kind of the center of the flowers with the little seeds and stamens and things. I love this. This is so fun. You could do any color. Another way to use those stencils is to do the center of the flowers and then to pair those with your dies as well. So that fits right over where you have die cut with the cover plate dies. I stenciled the blossoms over the top of that pierced design, and then you can layer up your cardstock like that as well. Here's those uh, two cover plates stacked together, just with colored cardstock, and then the stencils, so everything pairs nicely together. Here, Vera has used that stencil set and done a tone on tone design in a beautiful springy green. Next is a card from Lisa, and she's done pink blossoms with black centers. She's made the most adorable baby girl card. The next product in our fifth anniversary release is the Floral Vases die set. Now this die set will give you nine different style of vases. So this is perfect for any stamps that you'd like to add a different container to. So if you have little flowers on a stem, or if you have any die cut flowers that you'd like to have little containers for, this would be perfect. So these are fun just to die cut out of colored cardstock. You could use white cardstock and use your distress inks to add color on. You can use textured paper, iridescent paper, mirrored paper, the sky's the limit. Here Becky has done a really fun design using the pots as a background. She's done tone on tone with white and then used one of the vases for a floral. Here she stacked up different colored flower pots, added a cute little blossom and a beautiful sentiment. A kind word is like a spring day. I love this design from Becky. Next Bobby has a more modern design with sleek black vases. She's used some of our new florals and some hand-drawn elements, and she's also paired those with the Buffalo Check cover plate dies. Next is a die set that I'm super excited about. It's called Spring Bouquets. It has a watering can. It has a basket. The watering can has embossed design in that, so it's super cute when you run that through your die machine. You also have all kinds of blossoms that layer together, you have all types of leaves that you can layer together and fill in your bouquet. I have die cut these out of many, many, many <laughs> colors of paper, and I had so much fun playing with these dies. So here's a look at that watering can, and you can see the embossed detail that you get there when you run that through your machine. There's nothing special you need to do with that die. You just run it through your machine. And then I have filled my basket with all types of flowers. So there's tulips and I have daisies there, all kinds of leaves. Now I have many, many die cuts there and it started out as just these flat floral die cuts. I have a video to share with you and I'll link it in the description box below. But our design team member Becky has put together an awesome video to show you how to add dimension to your florals. And like I said, the link will be in the description box. So yep, I created this big, full floral basket with all the dies in the spring bouquet die set. Here is a beautiful card from the master herself, Becky. She's done lots of tulips. I love the color palette she's chosen here. And she's paired that with some of our brand new sentiments. Alba has done a completely different take with those beautiful florals. She's cut those out of felt, and I love her little basket here, and she has done all of her stitching on an embroidery hoop.
Next is a beautiful card from Lisa. I love her color scheme here. I love that orange with that dark blue. And then she has a sentiment, thanks for always being there for me. Beautiful details. Next, we have a whole new collection of Thin Frames dies. Now, this is the Polygon set. I'm going to add a graphic here to show you all the cuts that you're going to get. So all the colors and all the white gives you 11 cuts. Now, these frames are so beautiful cut out of glitter paper, as I'm going to show right here. Beautiful metallics. They're perfect for adding just a little something to the layers on your card. Perfect for around a sentiment. So lots of uses here. One of the things that I especially love about these die sets, it's, it's one piece. So there's no more trying to tape and line up your shape dies to get the perfect frame. I love that these polygons also coordinate with the In Full Bloom stamp set. So that is the perfect way that you can make layers on your sentiment as I've done here with that glitter paper. I've added just a little glittery frame around the edges. Now these also coordinate with our double stitch polygon dies. So if you have those in your stash, those would make the perfect layers or frames for your double stitch polygons. Here's a beautiful design from Bobby. I love that this looks like kind of retro fabric and she's added some of the brand new florals and our buzzword friend. Emily's done a beautiful card here with her in full bloom floral design. She's added that white frame right around the edge and it makes that pop off of the florals. Next in the thin frames die collections, we have A2 size, so that's going to be four and a quarter by five and a half. So you can see all those little frames that you're going to get when you run that through your die machine. This one cuts 16 thin frames, so all the colors you see there, plus the whites in between. So I have sped this up and cut them all out, and I'm going to layer these up. You can see exactly what you're getting. Again, that's a solid die that's going to run through your die machine. Perfect for embossing if you use an emb embossing pad just to give that texture to your cardstock. I love these. There's so many different techniques and ways to use these thin frames dies. Next in that collection is the A7 size thin frames. So the outside or the largest frame, those there to the left, is going to cut five by seven. So if you like to do A7 or larger size cards, these are going to be the perfect frames for you. Again, that is one solid die. And it's going to give you 19 cuts. So all the colors plus the whites. So everything you need for your larger size cards, you're going to get the perfect size frame, perfect for sentiments. Here I've got those all layered up. Again, I have used some cardstock and I have done some embossing on some cardstock. Perfect for a really cool geometric background. You just need to follow the directions for your die machine and have um, an embossing rubber mat. And then lots of fun and techniques that you can do with these A2 and A7 size thin frames. Here, Courtney has done a beautiful rainbow card with those frames and then added our good friends sentiment. Here, Angelica has done an offset frame design. I love the color scheme here. And then she's added a simple let's celebrate. Here, Bobby has layered several colors of her little frames, gray, black, white, and then added that big pop of green on the top with the birthday buzzword die cuts. Next, we have a circle thin frame set in this collection. So here's a look at that large circle. Now this one circle die is going to give you 21 frames. So all those bright colors, as you see there, plus the white in the middle. Here I've cut those out, and you can see I've stacked all of my little circle frames together. So lots of fun techniques. You can interweave uh, those. You can use different sizes on your cards. Here I've sped this up and I'm stacking them all up. Lots of fun with those. It also would be super cool to use this for a rainbow. So cut out your rainbow colored cardstock, slice that in half, and then you have two rainbows there using our circle thin frame die. 
Here Carol has made an awesome base for her florals. She's used red and pink and then a really light blush pink and I love the sentiment. Thank you so much. Here Ilda has created a beautiful rainbow with our spring freebie and our buzzword buzz and adding buzzing by to say. Next, Jana has made a beautiful card out of some of our new pattern paper. She's also created a rainbow and he has made everything beautiful in its time. Bobby has created this out of this world card using the circle thin frame dies there. You can see all of those lined up. It almost looks like a target. She's paired that with our spaceship. And here Bobby has used the embossing technique and she's embossed those circles onto black cardstock and made a record and then added our new birthday buzzword. Next in the Thin Frames collection is the square. I love this one. I added this one onto one of my robot cards in a live. I embossed that design and tilted it up and made it kind of wonky. Now this one cuts 20 thin square frames. All the colors are shown and the white. I have die cut all of those square frames and I'm just kind of stacking them up and playing with them. I love making geometric designs. Those would be fun on the front of a card with a sentiment in the center. Also here I have used that square die and embossed that as a little background and a home for my robot to sit. Now next we have a collection of new stencils. These are the spotlight stencils and there are different shapes. There's an oval, a rectangle, a square, and a circle. And these are gonna provide the perfect spotlight and home for a great sentiment or a critter or a little scene. So you can see there you can lay your circle over the top and brush on whatever color that you would like. And the edges or the surrounding area is going to be covered up and saved by that stencil. There's also a very large circle that takes up a lot of real estate if you like that on the front of your card. So the perfect place for a nice sentiment, a nice scene, and then there's also lots of masks in this set. So you can mask off the center, brush around color around the edges, and then that masked off part is going to remain white or whatever color of cardstock you have chosen. Each stencil set includes lots of sizes of those masks, so you'll find the perfect size for your project. One of the awesome features about the large stencil in each set is there is etched lines, and those are perfectly measured. So if you wanted your cardstock to be four and a quarter by four and a quarter, you can line that up with the square that goes right to the outside of that circle there, and you're gonna have your circle lined up perfectly. There's also a line that measures five inches, five and a half, and six. So you're gonna have your circle or your square or your oval, whatever shape you choose, lined up in the center every time. Here Carol has the perfect example for us. She's used one of the stitched square dies. She lined that up with her circle stencil at the four and a quarter by four and a quarter inch mark. And then she overlaid her cloud stencil on top of the circle stencil. And so all of her brushing and coloring stays in that spotlight circle. Here Julianne's spotlight is on her little alien critters there. You can see the beautiful design she's added into that spotlight circle. Next, Julianne has used the large oval and she's done an amazing galaxy background. It's the perfect spotlight for her space buddies and I am in love with this design. It's a beautiful card. Thank you guys for coming along and celebrating our fifth anniversary with us. Make sure you check out our blog and Instagram, YouTube channel, and Facebook page and we will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye!